Hello, everybody. Uh, we're trying a new uh, application here for this story time episode. I think it's 95. Uh, this is a very interesting story. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the perfect setup right now. Uh, so I will be looking away to my laptop to read to you uh, an amazing story about an amazing individual that is a local resident or, or was once upon a time here in Southwest Florida when I, I first moved here in approximately 2004, whatever, I, I did have the opportunity to coach this young man in football. Uh, I will uh, preface this by saying, uh, oh man, I'm sorry, I just kicked Kick, kick the tripod again. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of like real close interaction with him. He was more of a defensive player. I was more of an offensive type coach and special teams coach. But I will tell you that he was a, a really, really nice uh, young man in high school. Uh, he had a, a relative that played on the team who was a real pain in the backside. Uh, bad influence, but it was very nice to know uh, that this man turned out to be a, a real nice class human being. So what I'm going to tell you is about a gentleman um, named uh, Staff Sergeant Christopher F. Lewis. He was from uh, Estero, Florida. And um, I'm going to try and read this to my best of my ability, I'm going to read this and try and look back to the camera to keep you all engaged somewhat. But um, it, it, this is this is a, a an accommodation, the third highest accommodation someone in the military can receive. Uh, so it, um, I'm going to read to you. It says. Uh, citation, the President of the United States of America authorized by Act of Congress, July 9th, 1918, amended an act of, of July 25th, 1963, takes pleasure in presenting the Silver Star to Staff Sergeant Christopher F. Lewis, United States Air Force, for gallantry in action while engaged in military operations involving conflict with an armed hostile force as a joint terminal attack control of the 23rd Special Tactics Squadron attached to the Navy Special uh, Warfare Platoon near Mosul, Iraq, in support of Operation Inherent Resolve on 20 October 2016. So uh, basically what it's telling you is uh, Christopher Lewis was a, uh, a specialized officer in a highly specialized unit. It would be um, probably the highest specialized uh, unit in the Air Force for combat, like on the ground and, and stuff like that. That's the way I'm interpreting this. I'm not a military expert, but I, I've talk to enough of my friends to uh, be able to comprehend different levels. So it says, on this date, Sergeant Lewis's team escorted Curtis, I'm going to butcher some of these names, I'm sorry, but uh, escorted Curtis Pesmerza forces beyond the forward line of troops in an effort to clear two villages held by an unknown number of Daesh fighters. Shortly after entering enemy-held territory, his element began receiving a high volume of effective fire, prompting Sergeant Lewis to call for immediate close air support in what would become a violent 10-hour firefight. Just think about that. Someone's trying to eliminate you in a 10-hour firefight, and you're, you're still you're not conceding. You're, you know, that takes nuggets. That's something uh, really, really special. So let me try and pick up where this article leaves off. Um, attempting to break contact, his team took intense fire from enemy positions, at which time the automated 50 cal turret system 
and Sergeant Lewis's vehicle became inoperable. While recovering, or excuse me, while receiving a heavy volume of accurate rocket propelled grenades, 81 millimeter mortar, mortar, and small arms fire, Sergeant Lewis selflessly exposed himself to grave danger in order to control airstrikes within 400 meters of his team's position, destroying two enemy fighting positions and an unknown number of enemy fighters maneuvering. Then, while manning a 50 caliber machine gun in an open turret, Sergeant Lewis again selflessly exposed himself to enemy fire to engage and destroy the on-Russian vehicle-borne improvised device with 150 meters of his position, driving at a high speed directly towards his team at the Peshmerga forces. I, I'm probably butchering that. I apologize. But um, shortly thereafter, the enemy attempted to open another avenue of attack from a concealed tunnel at a close range to Sergeant Lewis's team, maneuvering from enemy fire. His team was halted. After, let me uh, adjust this. Excuse me. I'm trying to read this, and I need to scroll down a little bit. And while manning, a, you know, uh, attempting another uh, avenue of attack from a concealed tunnel at a close range, Sergeant Lewis's team maneuvering from enemy fire, his team was halted after identifying multiple pressure late improvised explosive devices, that would be IEDs, on their uh, withdrawal route. Then a series of improvised Explosive devices detonated, destroying one vehicle and mortally wounding a United States service member. While under fire, Sergeant Lewis dismounted his dismounted from his vehicle <clears throat> and risked his life to provide life-sustaining medical care to his injured teammate who lay there within five meters of unexploded IEDs. He then pulled two remaining teammates from the damaged vehicles who were confused from the blast controlled confused by you know from the blast excuse me uh, controlled a hasty, hasty medical ev evacuation and facilitated airstrikes resulting in 20 enemies killed in action by gallantry and devotion to duty sergeant lewis has reflected great credit upon himself and upon the United States Air Force. Uh, he was a recipient of the, of the Silver Star. That's badass. That's third highest military uh, achievement you can uh, receive. And um, he, he, none of this had to do anything with uh, me coaching football or, or I, I will say, um, Certain types of sports will, will teach you intestinal fortitude and strength and discipline. I do believe football is one of those sports. So uh, uh, congratulations, Sergeant Lewis, uh, on your, you know, I'm, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but in, in the face of adversity, you, you handled yourself very well, sir. I commend you and I uh, look forward to, you know, hopefully hearing more news positive about you, sir, in the future. Thank